I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we are going to share with you our test paper on logarithms. This test paper has questions based on logarithmic properties, logarithmic equations, finding extraneous roots, and all these questions have been selected from past test papers. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always contact me directly on this email, globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent comments. Keep supporting. We had been posting a video almost every day. There are 16,000 absolutely free videos on our channel. I hope you appreciate it. Now, let me show you the 10 questions which we have in this particular question bank. We are going to take the solution soon. Now, here are the questions. The idea is that I like you to pause and answer these questions or at least copy them for now and then solve and share your solutions. So, the very first one is just to evaluate. 6 log to the base 2 of square root 2. Here is question number 2, where you need to write as a single logarithm log to the base 7 x to the power of 4 plus half log to the base 7 x to the power of 4 minus 1. Now, this minus 1 here makes the problem slightly difficult. And this kind of question is seen in IB test paper. Now, here is question number 3 which is kind of reverse of what we just did. So here what we need to do is to expand it, right? So we are given log x square y over square root of x y. So basically you need to expand what is log x square y over square root of x y can be written as. Perfect. Well, in case you want to learn from me, feel free to send an email on the address given. We are now taking new students. Now here is question number four for you, which is to solve logarithmic equation log to the base seven x plus one equals two one minus log to the base seven x minus five. Now some of these equations might have extraneous roots, so be careful about it. Do check the domain, right? Here is question number 5 for you, which is log to the base 4 of x minus 3 plus log to the base 4 of x plus 3 equals to 2. Now, these equations, as I said, could have extraneous roots. Question number 6 for you is an exponential equation 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of minus x equals to 4. Well, here's a reminder. In case you want to learn from me, feel free to send an email on the address given. Our students are doing extremely well and we can be part of your success story. Question number seven here is solve log to the base 5 of 625 over log to the base x of 81 equals to log to the base 2 of 16 minus log to the base 2 of 8. Perfect. So, another you need to solve this particular question, check the domain, right, and extraneous roots. Question number eight here is to solve the equation where we have nested logarithms. So, log to the base three of log to the base two of x minus one equals to zero. Question number nine is to solve log to the base 4 of a quadratic equation minus log to the base 4 of x minus 3 equals to 2. So apply the properties of logarithms, combine the terms on the left hand side and convert to exponential form to solve it. The last question is again exponential equation. Here we have two different bases. 5 to the power of x plus 4 equals to 2 to the power of x minus 5x, right? So this is a very important question. 
we have 5 to the power of x plus 4 equals to 2 to the power of x minus 5x. Now, since the base are different, you'll have to take logarithms on both the sides and then simplify, isolate the logarithms and then get the solution. Very important question. With that, we come to an end of our set of 10 questions. I hope you find them interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to our videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.